Welcome to the I Am Vinyl Podcast Network. I'm Pete LaRussa, and I'm following up episode one, which was a switch out and upgrade of an Autophone Red to an Autophone Blue stylus. And with this episode, I'm going to be doing something that I've been looking forward to doing and wanted to do as soon as possible once this switch out and upgrade was completed. And that's to play a couple of newer additions to my collection that have been sitting around for either over a week or over a month or so. And I purposely held off on opening them up and playing them under the Autophone Red because, as I mentioned in the previous video, it was over three and a half years old, so it was pretty aged. And it was definitely showing those, those aging signs, and I was hearing a lot more interference and a little bit of popping and static. So I didn't want to play these under that stylus. And so that is what we're going to be doing right now with this episode today. And first thing I want to get into is a box set that uh, was added recently thanks to Pop Market. They had a sale on this box set. It's the Van Halen, the Japanese singles, 1978 to 1984, 45 singles box set. And I don't know how many days it was, but uh, for a few days it was definitely around $37. And at this point now that I'm filming this, it was around $115. So acted on this pretty quickly, thanks to a tip-off from Joey from the Rock Strikes 10 podcast. Thank you again, Joey. And uh, both of us picked this up, uh, along with a few other members of the I Am Vinyl Facebook group. So I figured I would make this my first official unboxing video and get into what's inside here and I'll take a look at the back there's all the tracks which I'll get into individually once I open this up and you can see on the side there it is VH logo it says VH 45 rpm is on one side and there's on the other side and there's the top right here and you got your standard barcode on the bottom with the Rhino Records logo and Warner, there's a Warner Records logo there, not the one you're accustomed to seeing on the labels on the records. So I'm gonna open this up now and come back and we'll check out the 45s contained within this box. Okay, I'm back after removing the shrink wrap from the Van Halen Japanese Singles 1978 to 1984 seven inch vinyl box set. And it's a closer look at the hype sticker before I put it away and what, we, what we'll be taking a look at is what it says here 13 replica Japanese 7 inch vinyl singles collected in one limited edition box set so here it is again after removing the shrink wrap and so the first thing you notice is it has a cigarette box top you flip open here and okay a little minor damage to this little two-page sleeve in here but I guess when you get a discount on something like this and get it for 37 bucks I have to take that little hit but there's a little liner note booklet right in the front so it's the little bent in the corner there um, Maybe I could flatten it out a little bit if I place it in the middle of the box set for a while. But let's get into the singles. So, wow. And they're all... This is really nice. They're all individually in their own hard plastic sleeves. Which I wasn't expecting. I had no idea about this. So, that's a nice little bonus. Especially for them traveling. And all us vinyl collectors know what can happen with many, many deliveries when it comes to box sets and things like this, but... Okay, so the first one is You Really Got Me, and I gotta take out the sleeve in here to see what the... or I'm gonna take out the sleeve and the record, see what's on the back. Okay. So you got you really got me there and it's backed with atomic punk so a nice black and gray label Oop. so that's 
bound to happen. It's back. Let's take a look at the sleeve inside. Yeah. See if there's anything on the, the back side of the front here which comes right out. So it's got this sleeve inside holding the record, which <coughs> excuse me, which is really nice, along with the hard plastic sleeve. And here is the front cover. Right there. You really got me. And the backing track is shown on the back. Japanese writing, Atomic Punk. So that is number one. Twelve more to go. Try to go through these as quickly as possible, but I do want to try to maintain their their condition as best as possible. Okay. Or as me and my older brother Vincent say, gotta be careful with the mint. Okay, so let's take out the next one. Okay. Close that right back up. Okay, so this next one, let's show it first. Ain't talking about love. Let's take out the record first. Another black label, gray label. Okay. See a little pattern here for these first earlier ones here. So there's side A. Ain't talking about love. And we flip it over for running with the devil. here. Really looking forward to hearing how these play. And uh, from what I understand, there are some unique Japanese mixes that have never been officially released here in the United States before this. So I'm very interested to hear that as a fan. Okay, so let's take a look again. There's the record in the VH red and white sleeve that they've given for these earlier singles here. Um, I'll have to see if it's a pattern for the entire box set, uh, which I suppose it may be. Okay, so there is the front. Ain't talking about love. And here's the back side, showing the B-side track, Running with the Devil. A whole bunch of Japanese writing that I'll never be able to read in my entire life. Okay. Number two, 11 more to go. Okay. And yes, it is. It does repeat the same pattern. All, all of these singles are housed in these red and white VH logo sleeves. So they're really, really well done. I gotta say. It makes that little crease on the two page liner notes uh, really easy to take on something like this, especially again when you get it at a discounted price. I can't really complain too much So all right next one of my favorites On fire Okay, and I know this one is backed with Jamie's crying um, When I was looking into this box set, I really had no idea that there was ever a single released for on fire and So there it is Another one, black label, and gray or silver, if you want to call it. Jamie's crying. Take this out again here in the front. Once again. Front cover for on fire, and again the back side. Jamie's crying shown as the B side. This is definitely one of the ones I'm looking forward to hearing the most. There's the 
as my brother will say, a lot of people don't realize the 45s had different mixes and especially how they're, they're pressed onto 45s and the grooves and how different they are than uh, a full LP. So I'm really looking forward to hearing this one. Let's go to the next single. Okay, and we are getting into Van Halen 2, Dance the Night Away. Back. So I wonder now if all of these are going to be black and silver labels on the A and B sides. We shall see. So there is Dance the Night Away. And it is backed with Spanish Fly. the front cover and the night away backed with Spanish fly now there's another single coming up in here since it's Van Halen too that I'm also really looking forward to hearing on 45 maybe it is next let us see Bring that back Yes, it is. Yes, it really is. One of my favorite Van Halen tracks from the early records. Somebody get me a doctor. Let's see if we have another. Black and silver. Yeah. There it is. Somebody get me a doctor. The A side. Flip that right over and women in love so i guess we may see the same pattern here just as a old school fan i was hoping to see some of the classic warner brothers labels but still again i'll, I'll take what i'm what i'm seeing here so far okay this one has a little more oh, there we go There again. It's nice. Early shot right there. Somebody get me a doctor. The front cover. And here's the back. Women in Love listed as the B side. The B sides are also on the front covers. I just don't I just don't immediately see them because they're tucked in such fine print on the very bottom uh, such as this one here so okay let's get to the next one now we're getting into the women and children first era there we go yeah there we go there's the b-side so it's and the cradle will rock back with could this be magic Let's see once again yep there is the black label side and the cradle will rock here is the b side silver side could this be magic sleeve and the cradle will rock and it's again and the cradle will rock could this be magic there we 
right next up. Moving immediately to the fair warning record, the next single here, one of my favorites, I'm sure a favorite of many Van Halen fans, Unchained, and so this is Love. Go right there. We go again with a black label side for Unchained. And silver for So This Is Love. There's the front cover, Unchained, so this is Love. Definitely looking forward to hearing this one too. Moving right immediately over to the Dive for Down record with the next one here. And it is, wow, really a B-side for this? It's so funny. Pretty Woman backed with Happy Trails. Okay. <laughs> How long is Happy Trails? It's a funny, funny, funny B-side. Okay, there's the A-side. Oh, Pretty Woman. <laughs> the silver side, happy trails at a whopping one minute and three seconds. <laughs> it's really nice. Gotta say, can't say enough about how much I like the packaging job done here with the singles themselves. Is the front cover here, Pretty Woman, Happy Trails, That's the back side. Okay, let's go to the next one. We're still in the Diver Down era. This one is Dancing in the Street, back with the full bug. Again, got your black label side, Dancing in the Street. Silver label side for the full bug. The front cover, Dancing in the Street, and the full bug. And here's the back side. Each of them have a bunch of Japanese writing, like I said, that I'll never, never ever know and what it says, and, <laughs> and a picture of the band. Now we get into the era of singles that I was very, very used to as a kid, since either myself or my brother had the U.S. versions, and we're getting into the 1984 era, the first single, Jump, and that is backed with House of Pain. So my brother had the U.S. version of this single in what I've called the blue box of his 45 collection back in the 80s and so here it is the Japanese box set version here's the A side black side of jump and here's the silver side House of Pain 
So I, I definitely haven't heard these songs on a, on a 45 probably since 84 or 85, possibly. And just a little background before I get to the next singles. Van Halen's album 1984 is actually the second album that I had ever purchased with my own money. So I do have a, a history with that album, and it's one of my top 10 favorite albums of all time. So I'm going to take out the cover. So here's the front. Jump House of Pain. Again, here's the back side. And the U.S. version the cover was in black and white. Okay, let's get into the next one from 1984. And no, it's not what I expected it to be. So this one is I'll Wait and Girl Gone Bad. And I think this is one of the singles that has a unique mix, or I think this is an edit. So I have never heard this one before. Yeah, here we go again. Got your black label side for I'll Wait and the silver label side for Girl Gone Bad. So this is definitely another one I'm looking forward to hearing. I never understood why I'll Wait didn't have a video that went with it and it was released as a single and I think it cracked the top 40 here in the uh, United States too. So that's always an odd one to me. Anyway. Here's the front cover again. I'll wait, Girl Gone Bad. And it says, it says, I'll wait, edit version. And Girl Gone Bad is a short version. So these are probably two versions that I have never heard before. So definitely looking forward to hearing this one. Okay, let's go to the next one up. And it's the one that I expected to follow Jump earlier. And it's a 45 single that I had as a kid when I was around 8 or 9 years old. I had the original US 45 single of Panama and Drop Dead Legs. The front cover is very, very similar to the US cover, except uh, obviously the Japanese writing. Being the major difference. So let's take the record out here. So once again, you have your black label A side for Panama and the silver label B side for Drop Dead Legs. So again, there's a, another single from 1984 that I certainly haven't heard on 45 since I had my original back in 84, 85, 86-ish. There you go again. Here's the front cover here. Panama, Drop Dead Legs. So, needless to say, just uh, for nostalgia reasons, I'm looking forward to hearing this on 45 again. And obviously, it's nicer to have a better stereo system than I had when I was eight, nine years old, so that helps too. So we have hit the final single, number 13, in the Japanese single, 1978 to 1984, Van Halen 7-inch singles box set, and it's a 45, which my brother had, the original U.S. version, which I got him for Christmas, I believe in Christmas of 84. So it was part of his Blue Box specials, and it's Hot for Teacher, backed with Little Dreamer from the debut record. So, again, I'll be repetitive and say, yeah, it's another 45 that I haven't heard since around that time when I used to play my brothers. And again, here you have your Black Label A-side for Hot for Teacher, and the Silver Label B-side for Little Dreamer. So, again, definitely looking forward to hearing this one on 45. 
let's take out the front cover. So there we go. Half the teacher. I'm sure the many Van Halen fans watching remember the infamous video, one of the ultimate classic videos of the 80s. And there you have the backside. Half the teacher, little dreamer. So that is the final single in the box, and I don't think there's anything else in here. So this is what it looks like when it's empty. Get a little close up there. So that was the Van Halen Japanese Singles 1978 to 1984 7-inch vinyl box set, which was released on November 1st, 2019. And there was a prior version released on red vinyl released in January of 2019 in looking at Discogs. And speaking of Discogs, the next item that I'm going to finally open that I've had for probably a little over a month now is something that I pre-ordered back on March 2nd. And Discogs has a, re a release date of January 31st, 2020. But for whatever reason, I ordered this from Elusive Disc on March 2nd and it took a while for it to finally arrive and then ship. I believe it shipped right at the end of April and it arrived within like a few days. So it is one of my all time favorite albums. It's the original master recording, Twisted Sisters Stay Hungry, a masterpiece of production by Tom Worman. And it's numbered, this is number 1,969 of 3,000. So I'm going to break open the seal here and have a quick look at this and then I'm going to spin everything and check out how everything sounds. Okay, I just removed the little perforated top of the plastic sleeve here. Let's take a look. As usual with these original master recordings, the cover is always really, really well done. Very strong, definitely not flimsy, and there is a little gatefold in here. And it's what is the inner sleeve in the original pressings. So they put that onto the gatefold, which I think is really nice. And as usual, I expect to find a generic sleeve in here or plastic sleeve. Uh, got the Original master recording advertisements, of course. Mobile Fidelity Sound Lab. So, this is what I really wanted to see. As I'm a big fan of center rings on my vinyl records, and I really wanted to see with the original having a custom Twisted Sister label on it, on the original pressings, I uh, wanted to see what they went with on this original master recording. And, wow. To my surprise, it's a pretty generic label, but pretty much in line with other center ring labels I've seen on the Mobile Fidelity Sound Lab Original Master Recordings, but this one is definitely one that I have not seen on any copies of these that I have. So that's going to do it for this unboxing and unveiling of the Van Halen Japanese singles box set from 1978 to 1984 and the Twisted Sister original master recording once again of one of my all-time top 10 favorite albums Stay Hungry which was actually the first album that I bought with my own money before Van Halen's 1984 became the second album that I would buy my buy with my own money
Okay, so I'm back after spinning the Van Halen Japanese singles, 1978 to 1984, 45 seven inch vinyl box set, and then followed by the original master recording of Twisted Sisters Stay Hungry. And starting with the Van Halen box set, I gotta say, I definitely heard some things in these mixes and um, like extended endings and the fade outs. And I did notice in particular, and I have to do some A-Bing because now this has got me curious, but the one that stands out the most on this box set overall for me was Jump. I never heard Jump sound like it sounded on this box set before. So maybe that's one of the remixes specifically for the single in Japan or both in the US and Japan, but that was the one that stood out to me the most. And I've been used to listening to my original pressing of 1984 or the, uh, the more recent 180 gram vinyl remaster of 1984. But that one definitely stood out the most to me on this box set and On Fire sounded great on, on 45 and as did uh, Jamie's Crying. Uh, so yeah, if anybody's thinking about buying this, even at the current price, I would definitely recommend it. But keep on the lookout at a uh, pop market and see if it goes down to $37 again. Uh, I would definitely highly, highly recommend it if, if you can get it at that price. So, and uh, even while I was spinning all the records, I uh, had all of the seven inches on top of the little liner note booklet and it kind of straightened it out a little bit more so I think if I put this in the back of the box it'll it'll straighten out a little bit more and it's actually it's not really creased it's just sort of kind of bent a little bit so not not too too bad as it was when I first opened it so I'm gonna keep this in the back and keep some weight on it and let it flatten out a little bit more and moving on now to uh, this the Twisted Sister original master recording of Stay Hungry uh, I'm going to agree with uh, Joey Haney from uh, the Rock Strikes 10 podcast and contributor to the I Am Vinyl podcast. And uh, I'm going to agree with him in that this is the experience of listening to this album that I've never had before on any of the prior pressings that I own. And I have two original pressings and I have a, a recent Rocktober uh, pink and black vinyl edition that... I didn't find too impressive as it was, as you kind of had to crank that one up, whereas the original pressings you really didn't. So this thing is just incredible. If you're a fan of this record, this is absolutely the best pressing to own right now to listen to and uh, hear it in its uh, full glory, uh, if you will, here. And, um, you know, standouts is you definitely, definitely hear more, more of the guitars uh, are definitely more brought out in the mix and a lot of the background vocals too I, I noticed which uh, on a Tom Lerman record are usually always incredible anyway so uh, I would highly recommend picking this one up if you can so uh, two for two on this one so thank you again for watching and if you haven't tuned into our podcast just yet we're 20 episodes in coming up on our one year anniversary next month and it's, again, it's the I Am Vinyl Podcast. You can find us on cnjradio.com, or you can listen and subscribe via Apple Podcasts. So until the next video, thank you again for watching.